And welcome back to CTV News. Well, the 17th of July is set to be a massive day for sport in Christchurch. Here's Gordon Finn later. The Davis Cup is returning to Christchurch in July after the success of last year's tie against Chinese Taipei at Wilding Park. Until last October, Christchurch had missed out on international tennis for over a decade, but after last year's success, Christchurch has now been confirmed as the country's home of winter Davis Cup ties. That's why we wanted to get into a, a routine of all winter ties will be played here in Christchurch, all summer ties played up in Auckland so that uh, the, the crowd, the people here in Christchurch will know that every time we get a home winter tie they can come along and see Davis Cup so hopefully over time we'll see those crowds get bigger and bigger. After defeating China in Auckland earlier this year, the side now take on India in the Asia Oceania Group 1 second round with a World Group playoff match awaiting the winner. With the prospect of a future tie against a major tennis nation, team captain Alistair Hunt knows how big a win could be for New Zealand tennis. Publicity wise, it's just enormous, isn't it? You get, uh, you know, you get, you see how well the Heineken and uh, in the women's tournament go, you know, over Christmas and how much publicity they get. So to get that here would be huge. So yeah, I, I think, you know, it'd be massive things for tennis. We've sort of had some struggles down in lower zones, you know, a little bit, uh, you know, over the past couple of years, uh, but it's one step at a time. Uh, you know, we're one step closer this year, and obviously this is a tough tie to get through. But uh, you know, for these guys personally, I think it's, you know. Be fantastic to play that qualifying world group round. Uh, you know that's in September. Uh, for me, you know it's always, you know, playing wise, we we're always sort of hovering around that and challenging. So it was be nice to try and get back to that stage for sure. Hunt knows his side face a tough task against India, with one member of the Indian side a renowned name on the world stage. To have the caliber of the likes of Leander Pace coming out, and you know, obviously even Bhopan is 25 in the world, Leander's 23. Uh, you know, Leander eight, you know, Grand Slam titles, and I, I can't even count how many doubles titles he's actually won. So, uh, I mean, he's a true legend of the game, and to have him here in Christchurch is, is fantastic. Last year's tie against Chinese Taipei was put together on a short notice, but with extra planning time this time around, an even bigger crowd can be expected to cheer on the Kiwis. Putting on a Davis Cup tie is no small uh, feat, so there needs to be some pretty big uh, modifications made to this facility for the tie. So, you know, two and a half months now we've got to put it on. I think in October we had six weeks for the Chinese uh, Taipei tie. So it just means that we can get a lot more planning in and around what we do, how we're going to do it, let the public of Christchurch know that there's going to be some great tennis on in two and a half months' time, and hopefully we'll fill the stadium. It's set to be a big weekend of sport for Christchurch, with the three-day tie against India getting underway on Friday the 17th of July, the same date that the All Blacks take on Argentina at AMI Stadium. We are going to start the, the first matches at 11 o'clock on Friday morning, so we should be finished by uh, kick-off time for the test, which means people can come here, watch some international tennis, and then go and watch the rugby. Uh, and then on Saturday, we're going to start slightly earlier too, because on Saturday night, uh, we're going to hold the New Zealand Tennis Awards in Christchurch on the Saturday night as well. So it's going to be a huge weekend of uh, international sport down here. Gordon Findlater, CTV Sport.